Guys, we're not talking about MS DOS. Not well. We're doing a tutorial, but the first thing, first time I'm using Mediafire as a not so MS DOS video. What am I doing? Okay, maybe um, maybe we'll just take a look at me. Wow, this is so big. My new version has five. Sorry for the loud noise thingy. Okay. Um, what was I gonna do? Oh, right. How to make an ISO file. So, you may have just seen a, um, what do you call it again? A meta uh, no not a meta in a dot in file <laughs> and you may see this iso right there let's just go into here uh, no yeah here 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 um yeah don't worry this is just um windows xp um here it is you open this up and you get this I figured out how to make a drum roll boop auto run dot inf along with a setup file. So I'll teach you how to make a setup file using Power ISO and how to put it onto Mediafire. If you don't know what Mediafire is, it's an online file sharing pro thing. If you buy premium, you get more files to share. None of my files probably go over like a gigabyte. So, yeah, if you make like a whole game that's like five gigabytes, you'll probably need premium for that. But yeah, it's just a nice little um, it's just a nice little thing where you can share your links. It's I love it. So check it out. So let's just um. Let's just go to the basics. So you want to create a new text document. Let's do, um, let's do auto run. You have to call it auto run, otherwise this won't work. Go into Explorer, go into the view thing, so view, and then you have to do file name extensions. Okay, now what we want to do is you want to open up your autorun.txt and type in this. I want to see if OBS is recording my footage. Okay, good. In auto run in brackets. And then you want to do open. Was it equals or... I don't remember. Open with notepad. Okay, it is this. And then you just want to type in like game.exe fun.exe anything like that. I I just did set. If you're wondering why I did setup, it's because I called this application right here set up i open it it's chrome see chrome no i don't want to download cancel okay and you've got your auto run now so now you want to save your auto run now change the file extension from dot txt to dot inf for in yes yes now, yeah, you've got your auto run. I'll be getting, you don't have to get rid of it because I already, ha I have an auto run right here. So yeah, so now you want to, now you want to rename. So, so you want to rename this to your application name that you want. This is setup.exe. I named it that so that it's easier and I just um, did open setup in mine. So when 
the CD drive has opened. When it's opened, you'll get this application open too. I don't really need these anymore. Those. Now, next step, um, this little guy. So you wanna, op you wanna, um, um, install Power ISO. We can get the description as well as Media Fire. So you wanna get Power ISO on your computer. You can register if you want, but. Yeah, this is, we're, we're trying to be free here today. So now, continue unregistered. Now, you'll want to put your setup.exe and your autorun.in. Now, what will happen is Power ISO, well, let's just, let's just do this. So, save Power Chrome. ISO.ISO. So you want it to be ISO so you can use it on your virtual machine. Um, link in the description for that. Now, we've got this little guy. If you open it up with Power ISO, I'll just, um, boom. And close this. You can actually mount your drive, clicking on this. Then you can uh, hover over your drive and mount image and tutorial ISO. Close that. And now we can open up um, Explorer, this PC, and boom! We get our thing. But, yeah. So, um, yeah, this is a very easy way to get your ISOs running. I'll put I'll put everything in the description that you will probably need. I'll put a copy and paste in the description for um for autorun.in and yeah, I'll put media fire and power site and so. So now what we'll want to do is open up Oprah or any of your file sharing websites or no, your Google Chrome, Firefox, anything like that. You'll want to sign up you want to register and do all that. Don't don't buy um do not buy don't buy premium yet because you actually have 12 gigabytes of space. I do not have premium as you can see um as you can see premium. Yeah, I get premium. So yeah. So now what you want to do is you want to drag your ISO into this into that if you want, you can make a new folder. I will show you how to make a new folder. Right click. No, right click in my files, create subfolder, and you'll and make name it anything. So I just call the ISO because yeah. And tutorial ISO. It'll set up like that. And boop, you can click upload when it's done. We're done. I don't remember. <laughs> I've used this a lot. Why, do, why don't I remember? Why don't I remember? Okay, share folder. There. And now I can share it with you. So here's the tutorial ISO. I will share it with you too. Add this whole folder. And yeah. Link is in the description for everything you need. Goodbye.